I want to tell you a story. You know what happened? This is my wife, Kim, right here. Hi, everyone. This is the mommy and the daddy. And we had a little boy who was just about your age, a little younger. And guess what happened to him? He went by the water and he, he didn't know how to swim. And guess what happened to him? He fell in. He fell in. And then what happened? He drowned. He drowned. And so he went up to heaven. So we, we want to teach kids today to be really safe around the water. I think the most important thing for parents to learn is one, you need to make sure you get your kids in swimming lessons however you can. In my opinion, never swim alone. Learn how to swim, always swim in a supervised area, always swim with a buddy. When Stewie drowned, he was 22 months old, and it was on my third birthday. I'll never forget when Romeo turned 22 months old, my husband Edward and I looked at each other and he said, this is the age Stewie was when he drowned. That's when it really all came full circle for me. Having my own kids, this is number one priority. They are getting swim lessons. At some point in our lives, no matter what age we are, we will be near the water. And all of us need to have the practices to make sure that we're safe and that we can help our youth learn safety around aquatics in any water facility. I said, let's create a book that would be instructional for kids. So we picked three things, which is take swim lessons, have an adult watch you all the time around the pool and to wear some type of safety flotation device. So we said, let's try to teach that in a book. So we wrote up a little story, and it's Stewie the Duck Learns to Swim. Educating works. If you teach them, you can't go near the water without asking permission. They get it. We have partners in Rialto, California, and the fire department there has been using our program for over 15 years, and it's very successfully. They started visiting every elementary school in their community in Rialto. And since they've been reading the book, no child that has heard the book or sibling of a child that has heard the book has drowned. They're an incredible success story. We were able to start raising money. We've raised over $6 billion to date. We're given about 10,000 lessons out every year to YMCAs, to Boys and Girls Clubs, and we've been raising money and giving back to the community all the time. The Yonkers Family Y was the first YMCA that the foundation funded. Water safety is pivotal and key to the YMCA, but we can't do it in this way without partners like Stu Leonard's. I learned to swim at the YMCA at age six. I was inspired by how kind the people were. They'll take time and they'll help you get away from your fears. A lot of our kids go on to become lifeguards. We're a source of employment training for kids. We always say in Yonkers, our kids are not only coming here to learn the valuable skill of swimming and water safety, we're giving them a directed path to something else and keeping them away from something potentially negative for them. To open Stewie the Duck Swim School has always been my dad's dream, but what's really amazing now is as it's coming to life, my mom is equally as excited, and that excitement is pulsing through not only our own family and the organization, but even the community already, which is really awesome to see. For my sisters and I, we want to carry this foundation on into the next generation. You know, when we talk about opening the swim school, we don't talk about Kim and myself and our four daughters opening. There's another person involved, and that's Stewie. When he's looking down right now, and he's saying he's so proud of all of us. It makes me feel a little closer to him. It makes me feel a little better that Kim and I are able to help others. Our mission is at our swim school is to save a life one lesson at a time.